My name is Caitlin V3 and today I have a project, not really a project, it's more of like a DIY because on my Ryzen 3 video where I built this guy, I talked about making a clear side panel because currently it has a full panel that you cannot see through at all. So we're going to make our own side panel in the cheapest way possible uh, because that is the DIY life and I don't know how to cut tempered glass. So it's going to be acrylic. I thought I did a video on this already, but apparently I didn't. So that is where we are today. What happened is that I did actually make a side panel. Oops. It looks like this for the Nano S. And if you go back to my videos and watch the uh, budget, uh, actually the redo of the budget build where I make the Nano S and build a little bit fancier, this is what I created, except I don't think I ever filmed the process. All this is is acrylic with some magnets. In doing this, I realized that uh, you kind of need to paint the edges. I always liked how a full window looks, but now I realize why so many companies put the black border along the window um, and it's pretty much just to cover the means of attachment. So this is done by magnets in the four corners, but for this we're going to do something different. This is super easy. You can get these magnets really easily from Amazon and these are attached through super glue so they are never coming off. You don't have to worry about that. And then they literally just attach. The Nano S is a little different but essentially it's like that. Pretty easy side panel, right? Uh, the only thing I did notice though is that it does create this gap here and on all of the sides so you're going to get dust in there and you're going to get some uh, sound noise leak from that gap so this time we're doing a little differently. We're going to use this type of magnet which is just magnet tape and it's really really strong and I know that because I've already tested it with this piece of acrylic and uh, all that is this magnet is attached is with the tape, the pre-applied adhesive on the magnet. That's the only thing holding this. So no glue, no super glue, no tacky glue, nothing. All that's on there is just that tape. And that's, that's really on there. That's not coming off. So we're going to try this method so that it sticks like that on all four sides. But I don't know if you can see this, probably not. I don't really like how this part looks, so that's why we're definitely going to do this black border. And then we're going to put some tape so that we have a straight line, and then we'll spray paint the side that the magnet is going to attach to so that it covers the adhesive. And we'll see how that goes. It's going to be a super fast video how to do this if you're... This is the... Uh, this is the acrylic that I'm going to use. This is a 24 by 24 inches, I believe. It's from Amazon, it was really easy to purchase. I will put the link in the description so that you know the dimensions and everything. I like it, it's pretty good. You can get, you might be able to get a little bit thicker, but I like this thickness, it is fabulous. One other tool that you're definitely gonna need is this cutter. This is extremely important. I've tried to cut acrylic with a saw and it didn't work out so well. So this is actually easier because you can get straight lined very easily. If you have a saw and you're a pro at it, then by all means use that. But this I find extremely easy. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions about this process, uh, you can leave them in the comments below, but you're better off just hitting me up on Twitter. Otherwise, I'm gonna go ahead and get started and I hope you enjoy this and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.